Hello, welcome to day 44. Um, today we're going to be doing a plot analysis of The Marble Champ by Gary Soto. Please make sure you have your packets ready to go as I'll help you get started on your daily task. The first thing we're going to be looking at is what exactly is plot. We'll be doing a review of plot in general. Then we're going to be doing an analysis of plot in The Marble Champ. And finally, we'll be taking a look at the daily task. So in your input for today, you have this anchor chart on plot. Let's go through the different aspects of plot together. Plot, plot is how the events of a story fit together in a pattern, how one thing will lead to another. The exposition or the introduction is at the beginning of a story in which the reader learns about the character, setting, and conflict of the story. The rising action are the events that develop the conflict. They build interest and or suspense, and they keep the reader wanting to know more about what happens. The climax is the turning point in the story, when the problem reaches its peak. The falling action is the events that occur after the conflict and lead to its resolution. The resolution is the conclusion of the story, where the solution to the problem is shared with the reader. So now let's analyze a part of the Marble Champ and see how it helps to develop the plot. We're gonna be taking a look at paragraph three. So take some time to get to paragraph three of the story right now. Paragraph three. The truth was that Lupe was no good in sports. She could not catch a pop-up or figure out in which direction to kick the soccer ball. One time she kicked the ball at her own goal and scored a point for the other team. She was no good at baseball or basketball either and even had a hard time making a hula hoop stay on her hips. What part of the plot does this fall in? Well, I see that um, this paragraph, paragraph three, is about Lupe. It gives me a lot of information about um, Lupe's character. She's not good at sports. It gives me evidence that she's not good at sports. And um, this builds up. This is kind of like building up to the conflict. So you were right if you were to said that the part, this part of the plot was the exposition because in the exposition we learn about the characters in this paragraph the point of it the gist of it is definitely that it gives us information about lupe so how does this paragraph help develop the rest of the plot without this information about lupe we wouldn't be able to understand the conflict so let's read um what i stated this paragraph gives the reader information on how bad lupe is at sports Without that information, the reader will not be able to understand the problem. Lupe is frustrated by her lack of success in sports, and this inspires her to play marbles. So without this information about Lupe, the conflict would not make sense to us. That's why it's necessary to help develop the plot. For today's daily task, you're going to reread paragraph 37 and be able to identify what part of the plot it fits into and how it helps develop the plot. I'm gonna read it together with you really quick because I wanna point out just one um, small detail. Paragraph 37. She also beat this girl, a fifth grader named Yolanda, and asked her to join their group. They proceeded to more matches and more wins, and soon there was a crowd of people following Lupe to the finals to play a girl in a baseball cap. This girl seemed dead serious. She never even looked at Lupe. Those last two lines to me, they feel like they're building suspense towards something. So I want you to keep that in mind as you answer the questions on the daily task. All right, guys, have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.